What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. So today I'm going to show you my new car, uh, Jeep, truck, whatever you want to call it. It's the 2020 Jeep Gladiator and I just wrapped it in satin black. Uh, I did use 3M satin black. Uh, they hooked me up with a roll and uh, just to get things done, I wrapped it over like two days. Cheated a little bit. I'm going to give you a little tour of what this Jeep looks like. It's honestly the best thing I've ever bought in my life. Uh, I've, I've had a ton of fun with it and I took it off-roading yesterday. I'll put a little clip in there for you. Yeah. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, the amount of disassembly that goes into this, I see I bought it in the wrong color. I bought it in red. I should have got it in black, but they didn't have a black one, so I got stuck with a red one. I have a lot to do still. So you're gonna see some spots that have red showing like behind the bed, I haven't pulled it yet, behind the rear bumper. Uh, the hinges I cheated, I plastic dipped them for now. I'm gonna actually take them off completely, have them resprayed, or just order them in black and leave them black because when it comes to time to wrap my own car, I don't have that kind of time to wrap my own car so I need quick turnarounds. Uh, again, if you were to actually quote a vehicle like this, the price would vary somewhere around like Let's say if it was black and they were gonna leave all the hinges, you know, we could probably get this in a bit lower at 3,500 to 4,000. While if it was red and we're actually gonna wrap all the hinges and bolts and behind the bed and everything else like inside the doors in the frame because the doors and the roof come off of this thing and it's gonna show red if the car is red, then we're looking at like six, seven, eight thousand dollars just for like a regular color change. Price goes up substantially just because of that extra work that you have to do. So unfortunately I got stuck with the extra work on mine. I'm gonna wrap the frame and everything one time and behind the bed all in black, and then I'm gonna leave it just like that. So let's go have a walk around the car. Uh, I did have a couple of things that I've changed already, like I changed the headlights out, it came with halogen bulbs, kind of terrible. I don't know why we're running halogen bulbs in 2019, but we are still. Uh, so I put some LEDs in there, I tinted up the side markers with vivid hex tint, uh, changed up the front grille. I got a bunch of stuff to do. I wanna lift it, throw a bumper on, winch, wheels, all that fun stuff. Uh, I just put the side steps on today actually. So it's dirty because I took it off-roading yesterday. I washed it twice, but the, wrap, the wrap's holding up fine. I took it out pretty, pretty aggressively. So let's have a look on the inside here so you can see what we're looking at as far as red, okay? Now I'm not worried about the doors, like the actual doors themselves, because when I take the doors off, they're coming off completely and they're just not even gonna be on the car. So, but I do want to do the frame all inside here, the frame all up here all through here and through the back and all the way through here as well. Again, behind the bed we gotta do, I can do this, the top strip here and the top strip here without taking the bed off, but I do wanna do more behind the bed without, and just get it done one time. So it's fairly easy and straightforward to remove. Nice part about this is a lot of these panels are actually aluminum, good and bad, because now magnets don't stick to it. I didn't know that until uh, I started wrapping it. And I was like, oh, everything's aluminum. So I do have to do that. I've got a little embossing on my gas tank cover and on the hood, if you might have noticed. But again, nothing, cra nothing crazy. Just threw it on there for the heck of it. At least that'll always be there when I go to uh, wrap it every time. It shouldn't come off. Now, when I took this thing apart, I took the window off. I took the hood off. I took the front grill top piece with the wiper blades off. I took the wiper blades off. I took all the doors, handles, mirror, gas cap cover, fenders, lights. I didn't, only thing I didn't take off was the bumper front and rear because I didn't need to take the front one off. Uh, but it was a lot of disassembly, a lot of screws. Probably took me like most of the time just to actually get it apart and put back together. It was a ton of work. Uh, as you can see, luckily I have a tunnel cover because inside here, it's a mess right now, it's all red. So luckily I can keep it covered. If they do make some kind of a bed liner, what I'll do, what I'll end up doing is I'll throw it in there and cover it all up, hopefully with black. Otherwise, I might just get it sprayed with a bed liner uh, type of material. So, took the door, took this handle off to wrap in there really nicely. All the lettering came off. Reverse camera is wrapped fully, came off too. Again, you can see a small strip down here just to show you what you're kind of looking at as far as coverage goes. When you want to actually wrap something like this, you got to get into some serious disassembly. And that's a lot of the labor right there. That's where a lot of the cost starts to go up. Uh, it's time spent, right? You can kind of walk around the other side, not too much different from the first side there. Uh, I did put an inlay down here for now. Actually, I'll just probably, I'm just going to leave it down there like that uh, because I can just leave it black. Again, fenders came off. I wrapped even the pinch weld all the way across the bottom on the side. 
Uh, and I am behind into the bed, behind the bed area a little bit, just enough that I, I was pleased with it for the time being because I couldn't bear to have it showing red on the side. I can see it like this right now and I'm super OCD about it showing at the top there, but hey, not much you can do about it. Again, we're still looking at a ton of red all on the inside of the doors, right? I've got dog hair everywhere, and even this, I have this cover, it doesn't do anything. But yeah, so still a lot of work to do, guys. Uh, again, I want to show you I'm pretty excited about this thing. I will do a video on wrapping these hinges just when I take one off. Uh, again, I didn't have a lot of time. I wanted to get this thing knocked out and get it wrapped because I, don't have, I didn't have much time. And uh, that's how I made use of my week last week. My 3M training kind of got a little bit messed up and uh, like there's some communication error there. So I didn't end up going, uh, I did get reimbursed and uh, yeah, they got hooked up with a roll of 3M as well. So we just uh, made, made use of my time and wrapped this thing and actually wrapped Sean's Infinity in Vivid Satin Black. I'll show you the actual, it's not quite done yet. So I'll show you the difference between the two when I actually finish his. And I'll show you the difference between Sheen and Vivid Satin Black and 3M Satin Black. I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you guys want to see some more videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Take care.